Hi, my name is Amar. Now in this video, I will discuss how to show dialog with the help of GetX library. Here I have imported the material.dart package and the get.dart package to use the functionalities of the get library. In the main method, what I have done, I am running a widget named as my app. This my app is extending the stateless widget and in the build method, I am returning get material app. Now why I have used get material app that I have discussed in my previous video. In the title, I have specified dialog. In the home, I have taken a scaffold widget. In the app bar, I have given the title as dialog. In the body, I have taken a center widget. And as a child of the center widget, I have taken a column widget. And in the main axis alignment, I have specified center. And in the cross axis alignment, I have specified center. Now, if you don't know what is the meaning of this main axis alignment and cross axis alignment, then you can refer my Flutter tutorial. Okay. Now, in the children of the column widget, I have taken a raised button. And in the child, I have specified show dialog. Okay. Now, what I want that whenever I will click on this button, at that time, dialog will be shown to you. Okay. Now, up to this, if I, if I run the project, then you will show the output like this. Okay, you will get the output like this. Now, whenever I will click here, nothing will happen because I have not written the code yet. Okay. Now, in the on pressed of this button to generate the dialog, we can use get dot default dialog. Okay. This method will generate a default dialog. Okay. Let me save this. Now, if I run this, then you will see once I click here, then the default dialog is generated with the title alert and with the message dialog made in three lines of code. Here you can see the dialog has been created without using any context and that is the beauty of the GetX library. Okay. Now if you want to customize the dialog, then we will use the second one. Here you can see this get.dialog I have used. Now let me uncomment the parenthesis here. Okay. Now to customize the default dialog, we will use this one. Okay. Now this get dot default dialog will take parameter as title. This means if you want to specify the title for the dialog, then you can specify this title. Similarly, if you want to style the title, then we have title style property. Okay. Where you can style the title. Okay. Now what will be displayed as a message of the default dialog that we can specify by using the middle text property. Okay. And if you want to customize the middle text, then we can use middle text style property. Up to this, if I save this, if I save this and if I execute it once again, if I click here, then you can see dialog title, which we have specified as a title of the dialog and the style has been applied. And as a message, I have specified this is middle text, which has been displayed here. Okay. Similarly, if you want to change the background color of the dialog, then we can use background color. Let me save this. Now, if I run it once again, then you will see the background color has been changed to purple, which I have specified here. Okay. Now, if you want to specify the radius for the dialog, then we can use radius. Let me save this. Now, if I execute it once again, if I click here, then you can see the radius has been applied to the dialog. Okay. Now, if you want to customize the middle text here, you can see in the middle text, I have written, this is middle text. But if you want to customize the middle text, then we can use another property, which is called as content. Let me uncomment this. Now in the content, what I have done, what I have done, I have taken a row widget and as the children of the row widget, I have taken a circular progress indicator. Then I have used a sized box with a width of 16 and then I have used the expanded widget with a child as a text and here I have specified data loading. This means now in the middle text, you will see this content which I have specified here. Let me save this. Now if I run it once again, then you will see dialog title and now instead of the middle text, whatever we have specified in the content that is being shown. Okay. Now, remember one thing, whenever you are using content at that time, it will override the value which we have specified in the middle text. Now, as you can see here, the middle text, this is middle text. It is not displayed because here I have used content. Okay. Now, if you want to specify the cancel and confirm button to the dialogue, then we can use text cancel and we can 
specify the color for the cancel button by using the cancel text color similarly for the confirm you can specify the text by using text confirm and you can change the color by using confirm text color similarly what will happen whenever you will click on the cancel button for that we can use the on cancel and what will happen whenever i will click on the confirm for that we can use on confirm up to this if i save this and if i execute it once again then you can see the confirm buttons has been generated as cancel and confirm okay these are the default cancel and confirm action provided by the getx okay now if you want to change the button colors then we can use this button color property in the button color i have specified the colors dot green now by default the color is coming as light blue if i save this now if i run it once again then you will see the color of the button has been changed to green okay now these are the default cancel and confirm if you want to customize it then what we can do we can use the cancel property let me comment this similarly if you want to customize the confirm then we can use confirm property okay now remember one thing whenever we will use this cancel and confirm then it will override the default cancel and confirm okay now here for this cancel i have specified the text as cancels and for the confirm i have specified confirms with dot with a text style property okay now if i save this now if i execute it once again then you will see cancels and confirms this is overriding the default confirm and cancel okay now here it has another property which is called as actions let me uncomment this let me uncomment this if i save this now if i run it once again then you will see this action buttons are generated as action 1 and action 2 because in the action attribute i have taken two raised buttons okay for the first raised button the text is specified as action 1 that's why you are getting action 1 here similarly for the second raised button the text is action 2 that's why action 2 is coming here okay now if you want to perform some action on this button clicks then you can use the on pressed of the raised button okay now for the first one in the on pressed i have written get dot back what it will do it will simply close the dialog okay if i click here on the action one then you can see the dialog has been closed okay now if i click it once again and if i click outside then you can see the dialog is closed because by default this barrier dismissible property is true but if i make it false then clicking outside will not close it okay if i save this once again now if i run it if i click outside then see it is dialog is not closed because the barrier dismiss dismissible property has been specified as false by default it is true if it is true then whenever you will click outside the dialog then the dialog will be closed okay this is how we can customize the getx dialog okay and this is the entire code as you can see here this is the entire code for the dialog i hope you have liked my video If you have liked my video please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching